Hi, welcome back to NDI Central Live here in the New Tech booth at NAB 2018, webcasting live from the Las Vegas Convention Center. We've been talking a bit about decentralizing the process of live video production, having to move equipment from one place to another. Rather than that, bringing uh, camera signals to a central location to be able to uh, produce from basically anywhere in the world. And one company that is really instrumental in uh, making that process happen is Media Looks. And here right now we have Andre Okunev, CEO of Media Looks. Welcome. Thank you. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Media Looks? Um, so MediaLux is a company that is about 12 years old. Uh, we're based in Russia, and uh, what we've been doing for many years now is uh, providing companies at many companies at NAB actually with technologies to build cutting-edge products like playout system, vision uh, mixers, switchers, uh, ingest systems, etc. And a uh, couple of years back, we've come up with a solution to transfer video with very little latency across the unmanaged public internet. So here at uh, the NDI Central booth, we're showcasing a solution that allows to connect remote distant NDI workflows with very little latency and very high broadcast quality. So how would one use this? Why? why what would uh, somebody use this for? So we've... Uh, met so far a couple of scenarios. Um, so one scenario would be um, usually for the reason of saving the costs or making the overall uh, streaming setup more stable and reliable. People would want to contribute to uh, the uh, streaming servers like YouTube, Facebook, or WAF, so they would prefer to contribute from a specific location such as their home studio. Mm -hmm. And when the production is happening at an ad hoc location such as a different country or a place where you never know what you're going to face with the internet conditions, it is a lot safer to transfer the stream from this location to the studio and from there, you have the process covered. It, it's reliable, and you know how it's going to work. That, that's one scenario. Okay. So, for instance, if I have a, uh, a program and I want to bring in a guest from another country, yeah. uh, we have a Skype solution for yeah. that. But uh, uh, another potentially higher quality solution would be using media looks yeah, that's and that another dedicated use case. point that's to point. That's another use case. That is uh, going back to what you said in the beginning of you know expanding the boundaries of the production workflow, making mm -hmm. it making actually everything possible because mm -hmm. the the idea of IP eventually is that you'd like to have any stream from any part of the world available at your TriCaster when, when you need it, mm -hmm. right? So uh, we've met clients who are talking about a corporate video production scenario when a, a company can have different locations uh, headquarters and uh, some other locations and they would do some kind of corporate uh, event and they would have live uh, switching to uh, cameras that are located in different cities or countries. Mm -hmm. So that is similar to the talk show Skype scenario. Sure, yeah. sure. Okay, so again you can have multiple cameras in one location, yeah. use media looks to send that each individual camera that's signal right. back to that's right. your And that's program. the third scenario, in okay. fact, because that's what we call remote production, okay. and that's the being discussed in the media uh, after IBC this year for some reason. It's probably something that is beginning to pick up these days. So um, there's a lot of costs involved when people have to travel. So six cameras, that means six cameramen, a lot of equipment, seats on the airplane, uh, hotel rooms, that's a lot of money. So what people want to do is either they would have just the operators mm -hmm. at the location and they would save on the travel costs and equipment movement for the production team. They would keep the production team at home and deliver just the streams from the cameras and they would switch them in their studio. But then you can take a next step further. You can use cameras like the um, the PDZ cameras, wi which which are powered with NDI, and you can set them up at the location permanently, mm -hmm. and you won't even have to fly anybody there. 
So you can completely do the production remotely. And con can you control? Uh, not yet, but not that's yet. a very, very, that. a very high Tricky. frequency request okay. these days. So <laughs> it's probably something that we'll address right after the show. And that's of course, uh, Media Looks is NDI enabled. Yes. So you can just install it and call up any NDI source exactly to yes. send across media so our application at this at this phase is very simple to use you can it runs off a flash stick mm -hmm. you don't even have to set it up you just fire it up to locations and all you need is uh, a laptop with some kind of decent cpu like an i7 and uh, in the case if you want to transmit several streams simultaneously we recommend that you have an NVIDIA encoder, mm. an NVIDIA graphics board that would do efficient encoding I on see. the GPU. Okay. So um, basically it's a two application. You, you uh, install on your sending computer and your yeah. receiving computer, and that's pretty much it. That's right. Um, what is the pricing for something like this? So we're launching a premium version of the product right after NAB. And we plan to charge $150 per channel per month. Okay. And uh, the premium version will have uh, advanced uh, turn server support. And the turn server is something that guarantees delivery in situations when a direct peer-to-peer -peer connection cannot be established. I see. And all the advanced features like PDZ cam support, uh, that is a future feature, and the feature that the feature that is available today, alpha channel support, it will be part of the premium version as well. And what kind of bit rate is supported for this? Um, so we support today from uh, two to fifty. So um, basically, this gives you enough control to fire up up to uh, 4K. Okay. And. Um, Depending on the bandwidth conditions, you choose uh, the bandwidth that you believe in, and then um, the technology handles it wi via adaptive uh, adaptive bitrate. Okay. And do you have some kind of uh, trial version, or how does someone check out uh, Media Looks? So, after NAB, there will be a free version and a uh, premium version. So, you go to the website, you download the the free version, the the application, and. If you feel you need the advanced features, you upgrade to the premium service. Okay, but there currently is a free version yes, now. Yes, yes. So, and wh where would someone find that? Uh, that can be fi found on our website, medialux.com. Okay, very good. And, um, well, fantastic. How, how are you seeing y your clients using it currently? What is the most popular use of um, Medialux? So, I would say that... Um, the most popular use case is more or less of a typical video transport. And this is the first scenario that I talked to you about. It is available in our blog at blog.medialux.com, um, where a company from Switzerland used their studio to uplink to Wavza and from Wavza distribute to YouTube, Facebook, and Periscope. But the events were happening in other countries. And they were as far as 9,000 kilometers away. And they use our transport to reliably deliver the master stream from the event to their studio from where they would uh, package it a little bit. They would start the broadcast 10 minutes before they have the master stream. Then they also make sure that if something is wrong with the connection, they can at least put some intermediate video with an ad or some replay. Yep. Because uh, if, uh, if you don't get the stream on Facebook for some time, the event will be canceled. Right. So this is a way of, for them, it was a way of making the transmission more reliable. Really great. Well, that's fantastic. Uh, you know, if again, if you want to find uh, out more information on Media Looks and actually uh, download a free trial, go to medialooks.com. And uh, Andre, thank you so much for joining much. us it's today. Thank you very much. It's a pleasure really to be part of it. this movement. Yes. Thank you very much. And it's uh, it's an amazing one too. It's uh, been very very busy just the past two days alone. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. That was I was I was almost late for the <laughs> for the interview. <laughs> fantastic. Thank All you. All right, Andre. Thanks. All right. Well, we'll be back shortly uh, after a short break with uh, more from NDI Central.